Hello everybody, oh my god, we started with another blitz for K-Fog. <laughs> Incredible, wow. Incredible. Right, this is the uh, Losers Bracket uh, Semi slash Quarter Final. Um, <laughs> K-Fog versus PC, what an absolute clash of the titans. I'm Jimmy Fantastic, with me is Skurumezzo and Trific. Hello. Hello, everyone, and uh, yeah, we've been waiting for this game, PC versus K Folk, and we have a setup here. Jim called it. If uh, you know, if uh, PC had set up for this surf, he would have been a little bit more protected against man, this blitz <laughs> right now. This could be a real rough start for the dwarves. Yeah, this is where I'd be raging, saying, of course somebody gives you the surf, and then they, they fix it with a blitz. <laughs> it's going to depend a lot. It's going to... Ah, bonjour, uh, Wall the Bruce. It's going to depend a lot on where the ball scatters when it lands on how, how hard this is for PC to get relevant. Yeah, true, true. If it, goes, if it goes to the left, it's pretty much a disaster. If it comes towards him, it's okay. Yeah. If, oh, if he sucks a reroll out of him. <laughs> oh, but he's gonna. Oh, he doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't get the reroll out of him. Um, and it did go to the left and oh, back. Absolute <laughs> worst. Probably the worst square could have scattered to. Absolute yeah, worst. Absolute worst. Uh, yeah. Thank you for the raid, uh, Wall the Bruce. Uh, yeah, we uh, we are very uh, we are very French speaking here. Oh, we uh, oui. Give me fantastic <laughs> Twitch. I apologize in advance for. <laughs> For our host, Jimmy. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's funny you use the French commentators because uh, I think they're better than the British ones. So there you go. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be, yeah, this is this is quite the match, isn't it? Thank you very much for the host. Yeah, sorry, I was distracted. Um, yeah, what and what a match this is, isn't it? Oh, we're blocking the diagonal there. I saw uh, that as well. I guess he's, he's doing the up. one GFI. Yeah, he's gonna have to do a GFI though. Yeah. Oh yeah, he is. Shit. Yeah, maybe he should. That's why blocking it mattered. But uh, yeah, I guess he, he's. That's also for the failure of the pickup. If you're gonna roll a yep. snake at any point, that's the much yeah. more dangerous snake. Yeah. True. Oh, so uh, I assume that game is still going on then, Wall. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, he had to do that didn't he, to, to avoid. Like he couldn't put in two guys to hit this one. He had to just take that. And when you're dwarves as well, like if you lose an early reroll, it's not a disaster. They're dwarves. Their blocks are pretty reliable. Everything's reliable. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Look at PC remembering that jump up is a skill. Incredible. That does beat 90% um, of <laughs> Rebel <Yeah>. Division 1. <laughs> Outrageous. So yeah, he's kept it. He's kept the team almost in one blob, hasn't he? This guy's in danger of getting isolated a little bit, and maybe this guy. And obviously the, the Slayer could get hit and stuff, but um, looks to have Views expressed in this stream Broadly are not survived, supported by the Rebel admin team. Definitely stabilized. <laughs> the only cost is losing the ground that he has to make up now, but yeah. it's fine. Yeah, this is... Yeah, he's... It was a good recovery, maybe, uh... He'd have rather not got blitz, but... Maybe enough to, uh, still get the turn eight grind. Like, he's protected the, the space in front, hasn't he? So he can move forward this turn and get up to almost where he would have been anyway. Without a blitz. There's a one. Uh, it's Hargrim, the rebel admin. <laughs> yeah, he can move right up now, can't he? But maybe, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, maybe PTK is suckering him in. I don't think so. <laughs> I think this is absolutely. Uh, PC's going to be all over this, isn't he? Getting right up there. Yeah. Oh god. Bien vu ça. Tout est dans l'intimidation. C'était une de mes spécialités quand je jouais encore. 
Look at yeah, this. Cave Folk not able to capitalize on that blitz as much as he would like to, having to save the reroll there off that GFI. But like, how many times have you seen a blitz just eat the defense's uh, rerolls? You know, it's probably yeah. very, uh, very good restraint by him to uh, yeah. to not there. And team as well, isn't it? It can eat your team. Like if he if he burst aggressively, he could have just had his team decimated. Um, yeah. And it's interesting because maybe against PC is where you kind of have to go for that strategy more than like, you know, if you were playing somebody who wasn't as good like me, you could probably just, uh, uh, you could probably just be like, you know, sensible and try and, you know, stop them from scoring and like, you know, play normal defense. Whereas maybe it's against PC, maybe you've got, maybe you should have tried it to go a bit crazier and, uh, you know, base a bunch of guys and get them really into trouble. It's a it's a nice ball carrier, isn't it? Against uh, to be fair, actually, after saying all of that, PTK can't really do that. All PTK's got is the this wrestler pretty much as a ball sacking threat. But this blood sure hands is very protected ball, isn't it? Uh, very must have been very worried about elves or uh, he has a PC. tackle blitzer as well that he can. Yeah. No, oh, he's a bit of a threat. I didn't see him. I didn't see him. Oh, all right. And Pablo, uh, the witch just got blocked and uh, blocked and stunned on the on the first turn, and as Jimmy had pointed out, um, <laughs> uh, uh, P uh, excuse me, purple chest, uh, remembering about jump up, didn't know about the stun at the time, obviously, so not following up to give her the uh, the response jump up hit. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Ball dorf cage. Dorf dorf dorf. Yeah, sorry I'm not at the top of the game after <laughs> after, <laughs> after about Well now actually I've I'm I'm six hours I'm six hours free of uh Battle Brothers. So it's more like it's more like Mind is clearing from the bend so and now the withdrawals are kicking in. Yeah, it's more like 40, <laughs> forty two hours fifty two hours now. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, I mean, at least uh, for for you starting a new game, that is, uh, that's one of, that 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 that's like the five percent chance that you get. Whereas the ninety five percent chance is this is complicated. I don't like it. I want to read the rules. I'm done with it forever. Yeah, <laughs> I almost got to that at six a.m. this morning. <laughs> Did you just not sleep last night? Uh, yeah, no, no, I slept. I slept from about. Uh, about oh right, you're not about in my time zone. Yeah, yeah, about four, about four hours. <laughs> yeah, that's about what I got. <laughs> it's funny when I when I muted earlier, I went outside. I got I thought I'll get a bit of fresh air, and I came back in, and my head was wobbly as fuck. It's like it should have just it should have just stayed. It's <laughs> For first time you got the fresh air in two days yeah exactly like real life just didn't agree with me anymore <laughs> hello flicky flack hello well hey you know what we got to turn it up because we lobbied gdanik for this game yeah can't let him down on it got a That's big true. game here the titans this is uh you know, one of these guys is going to be going home uh i don't think we're in the prize pool area yet actually we might be are we in the money yet? Are these guys winning money now? Let's see. Don't know. I've got uh, no idea. Somebody posted the the prize yeah, breakdown. Yeah, Nick posted the day. money somewhere. I'll I'll find it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, this is absolutely two of two two Blood Bowl main eventers, if not JFW main eventers. <laughs> um. Absolutely, two of the best, yeah. aren't they? Sure. Much Regarding Kefo playing differently, I guess like no matter who he's against, he's probably pretty confident in his defense. Exactly. So yeah. that's yeah. probably why he didn't get desperate or anything. No, yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not saying he should. Like you know, obviously, like when you when you look at you know poker. Poker is my big analogy. Uh, if you were to play, if you were to play Phil Ivy at poker, you should probably just go all in every hand. <laughs> you're not going to beat him properly, are you? But if you. Yeah. If you like, you know, somebody else can't remember any other, any other good ones. Oh, Phil Hellmuth. <laughs> then, then you probably just play normally because you think you can beat him, right? So, it's fair enough. But it still might be, have been better for PTK to have played a, you know, maybe he's more aggressive, but maybe not. You might have to use a yeah, he has to use a yeah. second reroll on that because the opening down the middle is just too much. Yeah, it's a gaping if hole. If he isn't fails it? there, it is a gaping hole. <laughs> 
he had a blitzer he could have moved beforehand and maybe then he could have eaten it. He's gonna blitz but... though, isn't he? Yeah, that was the thing. Yeah. The blitzer was always gonna blitz. Go for that sweet armor aid. <laughs> <laughs> Generally, the problem with Dark Elves versus Dwarves is the reroll bleed kicks in much faster. Yeah. But yeah. it's been unfortunate for Kefo because it's usually on dodges, not on block dice like it has been. Yeah, PTK is either Primetime Kevin or Past Tense Kefog. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, fair me. I mean, also with the constraints of uh, of the one-minute turns, you know, like, so... But yeah, I mean, you wouldn't expect any of them to make horrendous, horrendous mistakes, but they still can, obviously. Uh, like, they still can both make mistakes, can't they? Especially with one-minute turns. But, so this is, this is interesting, isn't it? He's got, like, a net around him. And, uh... Yeah, that's, this is pretty interesting. Interesting formation from from Kefog. I don't know what the answer to this is. Just keep doing based cages and <laughs> being dwarves is probably what PC is gonna go for. Isn't it's so hard to break a base dwarf cage even? Yeah, at some point an elf's armor is gonna crack. And then that'll open things up for him too. Well, there you there go. go. <laughs> okay, okay. So the answer was, uh, you know, don't get too deed and don't have your armor break if you're the dark elves. <laughs> but you're playing dwarves, so guess what? This is a bit dodgy from the uh, troll slayer. Does, does the troll say hit or not? Is he GFI? No. Hello, Foxmania. Welcome. Gets Good morning. The pow. He gets the power. The absolute looker dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yep. Yeah, hello, Foxmania. And as Elf, how do you break the cage? Yeah. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? He's, you know, he might be looking for some kind of one D um, chain somewhere, or, or several one Ds. Um, they could they could make some kind of chain. That, that's always possible, isn't it? Like it. Oh my, he's had horrible block dice, hasn't he? Careful. Um, but yeah, you know, there's there's maybe some kind of chain action that you can do, but mostly you just want to stall them, don't you? Try to stop them, yeah. stop them advancing, and then it, as long as you can, you know, if you can get them trying to make some move to get in range on turn it on turn seven, so that it can score on turn eight. Like that's what you want. You want to hold them up as long as possible. So that on turns, when they move on turn seven, they expose themselves to a ball shot. Basically, right, don't so break their cage. You hope they break their own cage eventually. Exactly. By desperation. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, All right, so yeah, we are in fact in, in the money. Thank you. Oh, we are huge. in the money round right now. Uh, fifth and sixth place will win $40. So I think that's the losers of these two matches will get themselves $40 regardless. And then uh, we go to fourth and third place are a hundred dollars and seventy dollars, um, and then second place will be two hundred. First place five hundred. So all these guys are already in the money, uh, if I'm understanding the breakdown correctly. That doesn't put Purple Chest down a player yet, but it puts him down a long beard for the runner that he has to field the rest of the game. Which is pretty big against Dark Elves. Yep. Yeah, and that's done as well. Yeah, it's I mean, pretty nice, Faymir. It's no science, guys, though. Yeah, it's, it's the worst being men down against Elves, isn't it? It's like... They're bounds that them and they're the ones meant to be down, man. <laughs> So, the leader is about to get mighty blowed potentially. Mm -hmm. I'd be very disappointed if he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
yeah, holding that. But I mean, it's the whole team as well, isn't it? Like, you know, he's... I think K Fog has placed his team well. As much as individual players. Tackle gets him. Mighty blow on the AV7. Big hit here. Scary. It's fine. <laughs> Completely fine. <laughs> totally fine. <laughs> He's on base now, so you can just put him as your back back of the screen. Yep. Oh, and beautiful uh, for Kevin. Sorry, uh, Ardvac. Good afternoon. Yep, um, I streamed till till four a.m. and then I watched YouTube videos uh, about Battle Brothers till six a.m. and then no, till half six a.m. and then I went to bed. Then I went to sleep almost instantly, um, and then woke up at half ten. And then we're streaming at 11. <laughs> <laughs> that's the sign. That's the sign that you're really into a new game you've discovered when you spend more time watching about the game than you do playing it. Blood Bowl notwithstanding. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I, yeah, I, I, you know, it's hard, isn't it? Because I want to be streaming it as well. So it's it's difficult, but I managed to do it. I managed to cram it in between 4 a.m. and 6.30. <laughs> <laughs> but it's weird to find out that the most highly regarded and recommended dude doesn't even play it on hard, he plays it on beginners. So <laughs> yeah. That's rather bizarre. Imagine everybody recommending somebody and then they're like, oh, by the way, he plays it on easy. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't weird. even know that. If you're learning, if you're trying mm. to learn like hardcore strats or whatever, then fair enough, but like. You go where the entertainment value is, you know. If it, if they're better videos and they're more complete, and he has a lot to say. Oh no, he's, he's meant to be the best. He's meant to be like he's meant to be. It's great advice and all this, but he he has expert for combat, but beginner for economy. Well, uh, like that's the economy is the combat because when your players die, they cost money to replace, don't they? When your men die, they, they, like it seems stupid. If maybe you it's just the like blood ball. It's like a lot of people are. Big fans of Kanor and think he's really good because of that. Yeah, maybe. So, yeah, maybe. He's just I don't know anything guy. about the game, so I don't know. But I, but I, but as someone who enjoys games on easy just as much as I do on hard, <laughs> I'm totally, <laughs> I'm totally fine with being, you know, a casual, a filthy casual, as Try would call me. Disgusting. Even though I run, easy. hey, I run Risk of Rain on Monsoon almost exclusively, unless I'm teaching someone. But you use the I'm easy mode modifier. <laughs> Not always. No, we don't always. But yeah, for monsoon runs against Mythrix, we do. Which is, in fairness, kind of pointless because the only thing that ever kills us on those runs is the point where he takes all your equipment away. <laughs> oh yeah, fair enough. That's a that's a that's a that's a fair point actually for me. Yeah, perfect for beginners. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, I guess that's kind of more what I was trying to say before, but I don't know anything about the game, so I don't really have a means of conveying that. Yeah, all right, fair enough. Good for beginners. But even then, he's playing on a different difficulty to you if you're a beginner. If you're a beginner <laughs> playing on veteran, your game is harder than him playing on expert. <laughs> like, that's crazy. The fights are the easy part, aren't they? <laughs> fair. If you have massive economy and you can buy great gear. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Gonna chain him back here. Is there any way to get this? Oh, that's what I was wondering, but I don't think so. Well, he's used his blitz, hasn't he? So yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna be chaining him into just chaining him just back on principle or into further hits that he can use to dismantle his position yeah, he's further. Just taking the XP hits. Self up another chain. Eventually. This is an immediate chain. <laughs> I used to bring an assist in, I guess. Yep. Wow, his dice, all of his dice have been gone. Wait, one in actually, nine. Three yeah. rerolls gone on one in nine, haven't they? All three rerolls on one in nines. All, <laughs> none to dodging. Because he's been doing a good job of setting up counter hits, so. No, I'm not better. I'm not saying I'm better than him at all. I'm just saying it's funny that he plays on beginner. It's like beginner economy. It's like I mean, I don't know. Obviously, I don't know how much harder 
expert fights are than veteran fights, but like a, you know, they might just they, it might not be that the AI is hard or anything. It might just be that they give them more buffs to the men. But even then, the economy is giving buffs to your men, isn't it? Like massive buffs to your men. <laughs> so, since it's all in a time limit, it's all in a time limit, isn't it? The uh, the enemies get better over time. So obviously, if you're running twice as much money. <laughs> <laughs> then on day seven, it's really day fourteen for you. So like, it's crazy. Okay, well, got... a little bit weak on the left. Yeah, so. but we've got PC in a full Death Star now. Yeah, he's, yeah. Yeah. he's going he's to the... have to. Uh, he's going to have to advance here uh, to have a chance to score. But he, yeah, as Tri points out, weak on the left. But yeah, maybe so not the best ball protection when this is all said and done. Yep, that's it. Those three knockdown players, really deep in his own half, and now he's got to, as as we alluded to earlier, he's got to roll some dice here to try and get this ball in range and even vaguely protected. That was amazing, though. He's it's not an area that can him. throw it in an eye cage. Oh, but an instant GFI is going to make that hard. <laughs> he fails the yeah. first of probably several GFIs to make. Yeah. That's that was funny. Uh, I was I was used to the other dwarf team we watched that was uh, Colians, and I was like. Uh, how's he going to do this with all movement four players? Oh no, he's got a blitzer. <laughs> <laughs> he should be kind of okay. But now Lots he's in some trouble. Yeah. Now, yeah. yeah, these are all long beards now to try and guard this ball. It's got a double, I think he had a double oh, GFI with him. I, I thought he would, double. yeah, I agree, Jim. Yeah. Get the guard and would like make yeah. it pretty secure. Yeah. I think, is he going to do that with this, this? Oh no, he can't do that. No, he can't reach guy. the out of double GFI'd. Yeah with this guy. No, one single GFI with that guy to go where he was. Or double GFI to go there, whatever. This yeah, is I, yeah, I would have liked the guard up on the left there, so now he's going to have to trust and blodge a little bit. Yeah, the he's still got guard you could do where this it matters. Do, this, do you do this with the witch? You can, uh, he has to do this with the witch, doesn't he? Which is the only way you can uh, get a wrestler down. Yeah, and you can get him into the follow-up block. It's still going to be a GFI for the witch. Frenzy too, trap though as well, isn't it for the witch? Yeah. So it's all no rerolls. It's so actually, terrifying. This, maybe this is good from PC actually. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All things considered, this is about as good GFI. as he could have hoped yeah. for from his starting just position. Pile in a bit of a screen as well before you do anything. Yeah. What is the safe screen. move start at first stuff? I know, right? <laughs> yeah, he's going to do blitzer, isn't he? Yeah. Ce joueur va se prendre un coup dessus en dessous de la ceinture. Ses furies me filent vraiment les jetons. And now we can dodge away from the other, from the runner as well. With God. If he wants, <laughs> he might stay in contact. He does. Oh, and he failed to walk <laughs> with no reroll. No, no reroll for it. Yeah, I think PC has a shot at this, but it's not going to be easy. I thought he might have pulled the witch out to put it where he was going to put the blitzer ultimately, and then put the blitzer where the witch is now, the sidestep. Yeah. yeah, but I guess this is this is safer, isn't it? Because if he double ones that witch. Oh no, the witch has got dodge. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. why I thought he would do it that way, because it's the easy, it's the reliable way to sh share up your screen. Yeah. But I mean, this is still... So if uh, he, if he can clear that lineman there, he's got the one and nine, and then two GFIs to score. Touch on the reroll, and yeah, he has yeah, a reroll as well. Dodge one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's that's the way to score, isn't it? Nobody's put him. Oh, he's gonna chain something. Oh god, what's he doing here? No, he wasn't yep. chaining. He wasn't. No, I that's he was fine. Gonna chain something. I think he's not. just taking. No, he's just taking three. Dude. Like he has to power? He's, he's done the wrong thing, Whoa. hasn't he? Whoa. <laughs> Here comes a four plus. Yeah, yeah four plus, four three free. plus to score now. This was my first, this was my first, honestly, this was my first take on it, it was to blitz and then four three. But screw, I think screw is absolutely correct with blitzing this guy, dodging back and double GFI, and he's definitely the right way. Yeah, PC we're just splitting hairs now. <laughs> no, 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 I think you definitely called the right player there, Skull, and I definitely. But I was the same as PC, I just did think of that, and, uh, you know, with, with the one minute and the pressure, probably would have gone for that. 
so it's understandable to do something wrong like that. But yeah, wrong, wrong play, but right dice. Well done, PC. <laughs> PTK with well, no, no reroll for the one turner, but uh, nearly a full team. He's got another chance to get him back. And PC has a full team, but he's got to field a runner on defense. Second half. <laughs> Should be a fun one turn attempt by PCK here. Yeah. You might even go for it, you might just take the surf, maybe. That's right, Famir. Uh, nearly two time. Haven't won it yet. Gotta gotta face Calcium Kaz in one of the greatest games of Blood Bowl yet to be played. <laughs> Who are we to say was right or wrong? Well you can say Volk. You can say when it's on like that, and it when it's turn when it's turn eight. You can almost say what's right and wrong. You can definitely say what's right or wrong on turn twenty four of overtime. Yeah. That, is... that was what you, your way was a four plus three plus, but he also had to get at least a push. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, because he couldn't block. Yeah, because he couldn't get a bolt down. Man, you so couldn't get a bolt down your way either. You couldn't get a bolt down your way either. And if you push your way, it's uh, two three pluses and two GFIs. Yeah. So you're always definitely better on a pow. I guess it's arguable. Yeah, 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 that's true. I guess you did need the POW on my way. Yeah. So and you if you do that, you can't turn it around. Yeah, yeah. It's closer than I think we initially said. Yeah, yeah. Tu portes du parfum, Jim? Non, non, c'est une fragrance. Always looking sometimes wrong, yeah. I mean, everyone's going to be sometimes, like everyone's sometimes wrong. There's no one even close to always right in Blood Bowl. I think they were very, very close statistically either way. Yeah, yeah, I think definitely closer than, than you would think at first thought. Yeah. It's just, you know, how many times have you been like, oh, still okay, think, I, still I can agree make with a four plus dodge girl. with a reroll. Oh, What's yeah, up? I still agree with it, yeah. Yeah, I would have I would have liked to have seen your play, the one you came up with. Yeah, I, I still think it was right. But closer than we initially thought. Yeah. I just like being called right from time to time. It feels nice. <laughs> As opposed to shitting wrong. <laughs> Most of the times, yeah. Oh, he's getting his pushes thus far. So as it turns out, um, more or less, it's not. This isn't strictly true, but essentially. Um, PC's way was 72% and screw. Uh, sorry, no. PC's way was 67% and screws are 72. But it does change a bit on not getting the getting the push. It's actually pretty huge, isn't it? Getting the push is not so good. Oh, and one and nine's that block there. Oh, no that one the turn push. attempt. Sorry. That is getting. Well, I mean, the there push. was a one turn attempt, <laughs> but. So yeah, no. Screws wouldn't was the, wouldn't the, the push be okay because? Could have done it with the troll slayer, yeah. Because he had he moved him into the thing later. Yeah, no, it was definitely it was screws. It was just far better. <laughs> even if it was a push, that was on a push. That was with two three plus dodges. It's still better. Two three plus dodges with dodge and two GFIs is better than a four plus three plus with dodge and no GFIs. So even on a push, it was it was better to do it screw as well. And obviously, on a I think old yeah. Ultimately, I think the the lesson to be learned here is that I'm just better than uh, Purple Chest at Blood Bowl. But, <laughs> yeah, uh, it should be me yeah, that's the in this condition. tournament and not him, Gadanik. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that, that was that. To be fair, the way he did it was the play that I saw first, and I guess in Blitz Pit you're just mostly going to go with the play you see first, aren't you? Um, so I guess it just maybe it just comes down to like the way you think and stuff. Yeah, right? especially in one minute turn, of course. Yeah, like try spot the the ogre. And, uh, and I gotta tell you, I gotta, tell you, I gotta tell you, my strategy of clearing clearing your brain to think is the way to do it, Jim. Just don't think about anything. Just do. God. That's, that's that's how I come up with my brilliant plays. <laughs> Just exist exactly, exactly. <laughs> Try to roll less one in nines than uh, <laughs> than <Kevin. laughs> Not a lot to clear there, Skuro. Oh, oh my God, Volk! Wow. Volk is hammering you. Volk really turning it on today. 
<laughs> I guess he's just desperate for DV time, even if it is to go up against Cook and Ball Torture. He wants to be a heel. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter if he becomes the fat Albert of the Jeff W. <laughs> hey, as long as if they're booing, they're reacting. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> Your boos don't scare me. I know most of you aren't ghosts. <laughs> Is that? Capo <laughs> continues his terrible blocks with a 1 and 9 there to mm -hmm. give a hit back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hit with mighty blows. Backstage brawl, Volk. No, 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 no. Gets away with it. Backstage brawl. I'm surprised he didn't just push him away. But maybe he's blitzing him and then just leaving him. I guess, yeah, he's blitzing him and leaving the line of contact. All manzing. A bit of intelligent, considered play here from VC. He just throws everybody in and makes two dice blocks. Classic. All manzing here is a good odds of leading to like reroll burn if they do go to overtime. Yeah, it is. Which yeah, is exactly. heading right now. Yeah, like I'm not even. I'm not even joking. It is good, isn't it? You just face them <laughs> yeah. up and. You just face them up, and they, it's hard for them to hit you. And even if they do hit you, they can still one in nine. And if they dodge, it's a one in six. And yeah, if he if he just burns rerolls to overtime, that he's happy with that, isn't he? Really, if he gets to overtime, Absolutely. he's still got two or three rerolls, and Kfog's got none. He's gonna he's gonna back himself to maybe win if he loses the toss, and definitely win if he wins the toss. Still uh, getting out bashed by the Dark Elves right now. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Good point. But he has got that, that 12th man as the uh, runner, which I do like. Yeah. I do like runners as the 12th man, to be honest. There is a bit In of a the, hole uh, here, isn't there, with this basing, with this guy not having guard? Like, it's funny how bad the dwarves without guard are, isn't it? Like, yeah. Every time, every time you, like, activate, you know, you think you've got a 2 and you're like, why hasn't this little asshole got guard? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that could be a little bit of an opening. Especially as Kefog's got his own guard as well, so he can, yeah. I thought he might have hit over here. And, uh, and then Paul can get through there, but he's putting the guard over the other side, fair enough. There's a lot to be said just for punching dwarves back, isn't there? Even though they're armor 9 and stuff. Like, just on defense especially, just try to make as many blocks as you can and, you know, knock them over and slows them down. They're like, they're the most slow when they're standing up, aren't they? <laughs> I was with you though, Jimmy. Uh, I guess he did it this way because he gets to hit better pieces. Uh, I thought he would do what you were looking at though. Yeah, These so. are definitely the much better dwarves to hit though. Yeah. Guard. Mighty blow and guard. Hmm. In the PC uh, Polian game, it was an absolute dwarf versus dwarf Kaz fest. Yeah, yeah, so <laughs> the end of that, yeah. <laughs> and there's uh there's a dodge fail but no no uh no armor break. You gotta believe one of those one dodges at some point is gonna remove it elf. Yeah. It's just a guarantee in the game it seems. Oh, update from around the league. Uh we are on turn eight for Larkstar. Um he has removed Three elves permanently and two more KOs, including a war dancer. We've got a uh, we've got a catcher that's in the uh, in the Kaz box, and he's got a pretty decent chance to score here. Well, actually, oh, not dude. that great, not that great a chance to score. Those I think that's pretty scary. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. He has really cleaned him up, but he yeah, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to score. Is it his drive? It is his drive, and he's going to be. Not even trying? Is there? I can't, because I'm watching someone else's stream. Oh, it looks like he's gonna foul a tree here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so oh does... my gosh! So Ruiz is not gonna. No, he's not. He... About three he if, he's, if he can still, if he can stop the score and then win one. Yeah, day, isn't he? That's he has thing. successfully stopped that score on 
his defense. Does he have enough he's guys gonna be, to stall? Um, well, he's down three. I don't. He didn't have a bench, I don't think. Oh, no, maybe he did have a bench. There's there's one guy in his box, and then there's two KOs. Oh, so maybe he appoed one. Yeah. Probably an appo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so on two KOs, now, oh, so he's... So he's... We'll see what he's got from his KO rolls coming right now. He got neither of them. <laughs> <laughs> so his war dancer, one of his war dancers is out. And uh yep, that's Mr. Page covering so, that game. I don't wanna I don't wanna like steal from him, but uh Yeah. Doll's uh, gonna yeah, be tough. That, that's gonna be real tough. There's uh one, two, three, four, five players on the pitch for the elves, and one of them is a tree. <laughs> Right. There you go, there's, there's, there's his Twitch for the uh, the other match there that's going on now. Ruzi versus Larkstar. And uh, no, it's going to be a bit of a break, Dr. Mobosco. I don't know till when. I forget till when. There's three games in the evening, isn't there? Because there's like the finals, then the. The, 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 uh, the there's the no, there's the losers bracket finals, and then there's the actual finals. No, there's there's uh, there... no, there's the finals finals. There's a winners final and the losers final. Then there's the and then there's the then there's the winners super loser That's it. super loser yeah, final. There's... <laughs> then there's the final. The super loser. Yeah. No, it's so the we... last chance. Oh there's yeah. There's a winners game final, a losers game. final, a last chance final, and then the actual final. That's right. Yeah, because we still have the the winners semifinal. I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. So we've got Devo versus Regor, and then what's looking like whoever wins this game versus uh, Lark Star. Not to diminish Rusi, but it's not looking good for him. Yeah. Yeah, it's like three semis in one final. Yeah. It's it's yeah. weird, isn't it? It's weird double a limb. So it's essentially yep. there's two semifinals going on at the same time. Then there's a third semifinal. And then there's the final. <laughs> so there will be three games on tonight. Um. Uh, so, Famir, I'll say this. I really like uh, I really like Mr. Page's face cam because it's a higher quality camera, and I appreciate that, but he's way too big on the screen. <laughs> he should be about one pixel by one pixel. <laughs> oh, that's just mean. Oh, he seems like it. But at I least he doesn't joking. look. At least like he doesn't mean. look like he's on like a prison security camera, like most fucking streamers. Yeah, it wasn't me. It was just a joke to, to the punchline for your setup. It wasn't. I wasn't being mean. It was just a joke. Yeah, no, it's just, it's just a little. It is awkwardly a little too big on screen, in my opinion. <laughs> All right, so it's it's sixteen hundred UTC. That's when it's on. So this will this will end about so it's like a two minutes. hour break, so yeah, maybe three hour break. break. And then yeah, and then three games in the evening. Boom. I'm up for it, baby. Glorious. Try you gonna join us for those games? If you guys want me to. Yeah, if you want, sure. Don't matter, don't matter to me. That'd be fine. So now, K Fog getting his guard in, getting some hits. He's getting a fair amount of hits off here, isn't he? Yeah, we're and still like one, through. two turns away before K Fog really cares about offense. I think he, no, I think he might break through. I think he might break oh, maybe? through here. There's the gap, isn't there? I think he breaks through. Yeah, I guess so because there is the gap. Um, is he gonna have to do a little bit of dice rolling here? He's still got three rerolls though, hasn't he? So I think. Yeah. I think that's worth it. You definitely take it since it's there. Yeah, maybe a mistake from PC to uh, to allow this here. Maybe. Yes. His spacing was a little wide, I guess. Yeah, that three. Three gap instead of the two gap. Yeah. Like maybe maybe that runner could have been. Both runners could have been one to the right as we look at it. And then it would have still been like, you know, that back screen and then this would have been a screen as well, wouldn't it? But uh 
Yeah, maybe that's it. Rather, so I don't know how, where people could go. I wasn't really paying attention, to tell you the truth. I was trying to work out when the next game started. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, I was looking at Mr. Page's face. So, <laughs> you, you, you know, I was distracted. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, is there anything on for? I think he just wants it. to make the score as early as possible to give himself a chance, doesn't he? With the uh, with a double runner. I think he just wants to put yeah. pressure on and stop the score, stop the stall, maybe. There is the potential because he has the blodge runner to do a little bit of bullshit, I think. But if you risk well, that, then you risk that maybe he stalls. Yeah, and he, he doesn't really want. He wants the rerolls for overtime, doesn't he? Potentially. I think he's going to be played safe. coming over from YouTube and uh, I assume if you're uh, consuming that YouTube content you're familiar with the best thing on YouTube the JFW you've got three JFW superstars in commentary right now and we are covering the losers bracket semifinals of Litz Pit should be a wild conclusion Glorious. oh yeah and also the the blitzers tackle so <laughs> it would have been premium bullshit yes. is that a misclick Wow, that, yeah, had yeah. Be a <laughs> that had to be a misclick. Yeah, yeah, because he was playing everything safe, wasn't he? He hadn't moved this guy yet. That, that was just definitely a misclick. Do you think he passed? He like tried to go over, but Sinai just passed them straight through. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh god! Oh my god! Wow! Oh, PDK is getting the look of the Irish here. Oh, but that in the apple fail as well. Brutal. Oh, baby. Oof. <laughs> a huge player to take out as well. Yep. yep. Wow. I think he's he stalls for at least well at least tries to stall for at least a turn here, hasn't he? He hasn't got the uh, he hasn't got the players back to stop him. He doesn't have to commit a reroll to anything. And uh Oh, well, welcome, little lion beer. Yeah. <laughs> welcome to the, <laughs> the the planet's most avid Battle Brothers streamer. <laughs> I tried to cover. I tried to cover for you. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I had the JW stuff. So that was good, but uh, I just I'm still half asleep, man. <laughs> so it still took me a while. I can tell. <laughs> it took me it a sounds while like you've gotten you. more asleep while I've gotten more. Awake. <laughs> yeah, I have to, honestly. Uh, as I say, my head went all wobbly when I went outside. It's fucking weird. You have like a gas leak in your, bas in your backyard or something. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Oh. When, I, when I go out on my deck, my head gets wobbly too, but that's my own. That's my own <laughs> no, your PTK is not going to rely on the runner to pop. <laughs> can maybe clear a path for his runner. No, he decides to push in front. Mm. We have um, we have watched almost every one of PTK's games, and uh, I don't think he's actually used dump off once, even though he's effectively gotten many uses out of dump off from lucky scatters. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He has a combination of he has this amazing combination of dump off and and safe pair of hands. <laughs> and, and somehow. <laughs> It just means every time he fails a pickup, he, when he fails a pick, he's got sure hands as well. When he fails a pickup, he catches it anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when he gets pouty, when his ball cutter gets pouty, he uh, gets the perfect scatter into the hands of his waiting teammates. Yeah, that blitzer catch against Yak last game <laughs> was just like it, there's, it literally could not have been a better result for getting his ball hit. <laughs> oh, he's gonna base with tackle. I tried to. He's got a double G if I had a base with tackle, hasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> no, you can't use it. You can't use the reroll on this. You can't. You've got to sure, look at no time now. He's thinking about it, though, but you just can't. Nah, I don't think he is. Oh, he is. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, boy. He just wants the game to end. <laughs> he wants his break. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you can, you know, if you can one, if you can fail this, it'd be great. Call it a game. 
Yeah, you're just like, Oh, I thought he might cut through the tackle there. Maybe he didn't know. Yeah. But he, uh, he figured it out. I guess he is getting the stall, all right? He's stopping the stall, I guess. That's it. If he, he'd rather definitely have a three-turn drive with two re-rolls than maybe winning the overtime toss, isn't it? Plus, he's down a player as well. Do you think he? Do you think PTK would have stalled if he hadn't re-rolled that? That's risky. I think he met probably would have done, yeah. yeah. That's pretty risky though, because all those elves are on the ground, other than the dodge tackler, who's amazingly not dodging from tackle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, amazing. <laughs> yeah, that that might give him the three turn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people like to say about kick equity. Oh, I just would have been so, I would have been so scared to try and stall that out. <laughs> if, if that play failed, because the runner wouldn't be over here, so yeah. yeah, then you could, you could do your blitz somewhere else and bring another guy in. So that reroll did get him this three turn chance. Yeah. With yeah, two rerolls, and I guess he puts in those two rerolls to score. And then if he if he uh, if he scores, he wins, doesn't he? Yeah. PC. Uh, I mean, PC did put a lot of thought into that reroll too. Like, you know, that wasn't a reactionary reroll. He he knew exactly what he was doing with it. And to be fair, K for uh, purple chess is in this game because he lost in overtime to Devo, didn't he? So. You know, he's probably thinking, True. I don't want to go overtime and lose the toss and lose because I lost it to kind yep. toss. Yeah, because he's done basically no damage to the elves whatsoever. Yeah. Another uh, failed KO on the elves, but it, uh, yeah, not really going to matter. If you're all in on winning now as a PC, do you put the normal runner back and maybe just to make sure you can transition it to the blodge runner and he can always score? Absolutely, yeah. Because he's, he's, he's only got wrestle or tackle for it, hasn't he? He hasn't got an yeah. ultimate answer for the blodge. You, you're gonna, you're gonna have some defensive use on him. Yeah, just put the blodge runner a little bit forward, and if it's a short kick, you can pick it up. But if it's a back kick, then you can transition it to him. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. I mean, if you, yeah, if if PC loses the toss to a full dark elf team in overtime. Yeah, he's definitely like he, he, if he loses the toss, he loses like about forty-five yeah. percent of the time or more. If he wins the yeah. toss, maybe he wins about you know I don't know probably <laughs> seventy percent, maybe sixty percent if he wins the toss. So what's that? Thirty. Are you talking? Wait, from whose perspective are you talking here? Purple chest. If he if he loses Purple the chest. toss. If he, he, if he loses, loses the like eighty percent of the time, I'd say. I think Maybe loses. not eighty. I think he loses more than eighty if he loses the toss. <laughs> oh, you said it backwards the first time. You said he loses forty percent of the time. I was like, I don't think that's where I feel. All right, yeah. I think <laughs> if he if he wins the toss, I still think he loses forty percent of the time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah if yeah. he wins the toss, he loses. That's why, yeah, yeah. We're on the same page. I get you. I get you. Absolutely yeah, so beautiful did. kick for PC. Yeah, he just aimed it at the runner. <laughs> oh, it was a high kick. Oh, okay, he didn't aim yeah. it. Yeah. I thought, isn't it amazing that he had the runner off to the side and then it landed on him? <laughs> 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 oh, dear. Never mind me. <laughs> I like this four squares back, so he's, he'd have to GFI the blitz with the, uh, with the runner. Uh, with a long Jimmy's game. still under the effect of the... Gas fumes leaking in. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think I was thinking he might blitz him with a runner, yeah. I quite like this from PC. Yeah, this is uh, Lickle. This is probably the biggest tournament in Blood Bowl Two history outside of the uh, the two World Cups that Cyanide ran. This is a privately run and a crowd-funded uh, one-minute tournament. Uh, it is invitational only, and uh, the quality of coaching in this game is uh, exceptionally high. Or tournament, not game. I mean, in this game, too. <laughs> You're looking at two of the best worldwide in tabletop, in most people's opinions. Quality of coaching better than the World Cup. 
in oh, my yeah, opinion. Uh, I mean, you can't Josh, say it's greater than the SFL fame here just because they're missing some of the champions of the SFL <laughs> from this tournament, but it's pretty close. Yeah, it's it's just definitely, like, overall quality, it's definitely number one. Uh, I mean, obviously, probably the other, the earlier Blitz Pits were probably, <laughs> you know, you can argue, but Blitz Pit as a whole um, yeah. is definitely, the, by its nature of being invitational and then these big qualifiers, it's just it's just been run better than, like, you know, more competitively than the World Cup, certainly, where you qualified by, yeah. by winning those were just no one's ever heard yeah, of. Yeah, those were just bigger because of the, the backing they had from, yeah. you know. And, like, obviously, and... big tabletop tournaments, just any any man and his dog can turn up to. So, you know, they're, they're obviously the overall... Yes, you're going to have tournaments with, like, you know, 20 top players. But you're never going to have a 16-man tabletop tom where 16 players are all really good. <laughs> that, that is a very good point, Satterfield. Uh, SFL probably tops it out. You know, uh, <laughs> Jimmy had to quit because it was too hard. Gdanik, who uh, invented and runs the Blitz Pit, is a uh, a long-standing, uh, you know, also also played kind of guy in uh, in SFL. Maybe maybe he won one of them once, but uh, he's certainly no winner three. That's for sure. <laughs> He is a winner of two uh, two CCLs as well, isn't he, uh, Gadonik? This is pretty uh, nice. It's Rez, it's Rez Lickle. Yeah. And I think the TV works out to be like, what, 12, 12 20 or something like that? Do you know what? I, Maybe I, more I, one. It, changes, it changes by the tournament per weekend. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, all resurrection, yeah. And yeah, the rules depend. I really I didn't like pc caging here i prefer to push up and cage behind the, the you know the guys who are blitzing getting the side step like where he wants to blitz is great yeah yeah for sure unfortunately he gets knocked down but he can still step somewhere semi-relevant yeah in one minute turns yeah exactly so even though there aren't great coaches in that they're obviously under severe time pressure in that which is which is great as well isn't it terms of entertainment value it's it's you know i think the best one to watch uh, so it's gonna go. be hard to protect i guess it's just full potato yeah <laughs> he's already done it so yeah <laughs> <laughs> um do do gfi the runner and then the blitzer yes i cage is probably the best case scenario here I yeah, guess he could actually go yeah. forward and didn't yeah, do the guard. Ooh, yeah, this is better. That's what he's doing. Yeah, I think forward. Especially if you want to avoid overtime and you're willing to use the rerolls. Yeah. Two more GFIs oh, yeah, gets the sure. guard right up on there if he wants it. Both GFI. yeah, he's oh, got he's got to get the guard on, I yeah. think. And he gets it. Oh, baby. Yep. And now he can he can 2D <laughs> that this guy and then get in this guy maybe somewhere. Two, three, four, not really. Uh, in, uh, so this tournament was populated by previous... This is a very special one. This is kind of the end-all, be-all for the year. There's a $1,000 in cash prizes tagged on this one. <laughs> he didn't uh, even stand but... up as a card guy. Oh, my God. Yeah, that he ran out of time, time, didn't he? He ran out of time. Uh, Brutal. Uh, but yeah, this tournament is populated by former um, former Blitz Pit winners and uh, people who have advanced far in it. And then there were two rounds of open qualifiers for uh, scrubs to fail at, um, which we all did. Oh my <laughs> and uh, a few people got through that to uh, qualify into this too. And here we go. It looks like PC is going to uh. take this one after snake in the dodge what and quadded technically as once. Yeah. Yep, just full potato. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dorf, 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 dorf. I don't know what he was doing though with that dodge. Shouldn't he have blocked this guy first and then got him in? He, oh, he must have been to bring the guard in. I don't. Yeah, he was going to bring the guard in and then he was going to hit with sidestep, I guess. I don't know how he could have brought the guard in though. Yeah, it's. He's going yeah, to mm. guard there and hit there and then. But he couldn't bring in the guard for the hit on the ball. I don't know, that was weird. But no, the yeah. scrubs did really well out of the eight that made day two. Five were qualifiers, uh, five were open qualifiers, two were people who had done well in Blitz Pit, and uh, one was a winner. So it was, uh, yeah, that was a brutal double one, wasn't it, from PTK? But you know, he had some, he had some other good dice, didn't he, in the in the previous rounds? So 
Uh, Tries prediction absolutely on point. It cannot be close <laughs> with Dark Elves. Yeah. <laughs> and it looks like Larkstar is moments away from winning his own game in regular time. He's uh, stolen the ball from the few elves remaining. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, Unbelievable, Jeff. Yeah. Well, um, I don't know that either of them are going to talk about it. If they do, it'll be on on stream, not on YouTube. So thank you very much, Skuro and Try. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, congratulations, PC. Commiserations, K4. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.